Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. And this is our episode number six. So let's get started now. Let's look at our denominator. We have two linear factors. So that means we are going to put down two fractions. All right. So two fractions separated by plus sign. The first one is going to be 2x minus 3. And the other one is going to be x plus 1. And on the top, on the numerator, we're going to have a on the first fraction and constant b on the second. And now our task is to find the value of a and b. Now in our next step, let's focus on this denominator, this part over here on the left hand side, 2x minus 3 times x plus 1. We are going to multiply this, whatever this quantity is, across the board. I'm going to multiply over here on this fraction, 2x minus 3 times x plus 1 on this term and I'm going to do the same thing 2x minus 3 times x plus 1 and finally 2x minus 3 times x plus 1. So far so good and now let's focus on over here on the left hand side this 2x minus 3 cancel with this 2x minus 3 x plus 1 is gone with this x plus 1 so we simply ended up with x minus 4 on the left hand side equals to now let's look at this right hand side 2x minus 3 is gone with this 2x minus 3 so we have a times x plus 1 and then plus let's look at this over here this x plus 1 is gone with this x plus 1 so that means we ended up with b times 2x minus 3 and I'm going to call this one as an equation number 1 and now let's look at this quick trick it states look for linear factors in the denominator so let's look at on this left hand side denominator we got two linear factors first one is this one and the other one is this one i am going to write down both of them right up here 2x minus 3 and on this side i am going to write down x plus 1 and now I am going to set both of them equal to zero. So that tells us that this is, if we move this negative three on the other side becomes two X equal to positive three. If we divide both sides by two, X turns out to be three over two, one value. And on this side, X equal to negative 1 is another value and now let's focus on x equal to 3 over 2 value and here I just said put x equal to 3 over 2 in this equation number 1 let's do that one over here so wherever we see x I'm going to replace it by 3 over 2 so the left hand side of this equation 1 becomes 3 over 2 minus 4 equal to a times 3 over 2 plus 1 and let's focus on this part over here 2x minus 3 so we know that 2 and x in our case is 3 over 2 and then we have a minus 3 isn't it so we have a minus 3 we know that this 2 and 2 cancels out 
So we ended up with 3 minus 3 means it's going to give us 0. So we got 0 times b. This whole quantity is going to be simply 0. So I am going to write down plus 0 right up here. And we know that uh, uh, 3 over 2 minus 4, if we subtract this one, that is going to give us negative 5 over 2 equal to over here. This is going to give us a times if we add this fraction plus this is going to give us 5 over so far so good and here if I divide both sides by 5 over 2 I am going to get a equals to negative 1 so far so good and now we are going to focus on x equal to negative 1 and here I wrote down put x equal to negative 1 in equation number 1 so let's go ahead wherever we see x i'm going to replace it by negative one so the left hand side is simply is going to become negative one minus four equals two and here we can see if i replace x by negative one and this is positive one negative one plus one is going to give us zero that means zero time a is whole thing is going to become zero so I am going to write down 0 right up here plus b times 2 times, see right now 2 times we have our x is negative 1, we have to be careful, and minus 3. All right, let's simplify this thing that's going to give us negative 5 equal to b times that's going to give us negative 2 minus 3 which tells us that b negative 5 equal to negative 5 b that means b turns out to be simply positive 1. So thus our a value turns out to be negative 1 and b value is a 1. And thus our this partial fraction wherever we see a I am going to replace it by negative 1 and wherever we see b I am going to replace it by positive 1 and here is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye